Welcome to our Discovery Lab online videos. My name is Bethany Treshar here with the Outreach Division of Fort Worth Museum of Science and History. And today we're going to make some borax crystal Christmas ornaments. Let's get started. So how do borax crystals grow? It's a very similar process to how ice crystals form snowflakes. So hot water holds more borax crystals than cold water. And so when we start heating up hot, uh, water molecules, they start to move further apart. And they make a lot more room for crystals, uh, the borax crystals, to dissolve, uh, the borax to dissolve into them and form the solution that makes our borax crystals. And once you can't dissolve any more of that borax into our water, that's when you've reached a point of saturation. As our borax water solution starts to cool down, the water molecules in the solution start to move closer together again. This is making less room for the solution to hold on to those borax crystals and the crystals start to form and build on one another as the water molecules start to let go of it and the water starts to evaporate. So let's see this in action. To make borax crystals you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a container full of really warm water. You're going to need borax a tablespoon measuring spoon, some tape, string, some sort of stick or chopsticks work really well, or really sturdy straws, uh, a, a mixing or stirring utensil, and some pipe cleaners. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna shape your pipe cleaners. You can make different kinds of shapes, little swirls, really whatever you want, but the it's kind of whatever you want your design to be. The swirls turn out really, really cool, so we'll probably make a few swirls here. And they're really simple. So you shape your pipe cleaners, and then you're going to take your water. It's got to be very, very warm because we want the borax to dissolve as well as it can. So you usually want to take about three to four tablespoons per cup of water. So we have about a little over two and a half cups, so we're going to need quite a bit of borax in here. We're going to do, there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we'll put about ten in there. And really you want your solution or your water borax mixture to be completely saturated. So it should be so... So it should the water should mix and mix and mix and you stir until it's completely mixed in and there should be some little particles of borax at the bottom still. It's okay if that happens. You just want to make sure you stir it really well. When it fully saturated there. Okay. So if you need more, you can add more borax. You can um, just make sure your solution is completely saturated. All right. So now that we have it all mixed in together, you're going to take a piece of stream and your crystal or your uh, pipe cleaner design. You're going to tie it off like this. You're just tie off your stream, just like that. You want to make sure it's secure, so we don't want it falling in at the bottom. Nice and secure. Okay. Then you're going to take one of your sticks. I'm using chopsticks. They work really well or you can use very sturdy straws, really anything you have that will go across your container. It needs to be able to sit across your container without falling in. And you can tie it off there. Just like this. And ours is very long, I know, but what we're going to do is we're going to let it kind of sink to the bottom and then we're just going to roll it up our stick. We don't want it touching the bottom or the sides because if it touches the bottoms or the sides, then the crystals will start growing on the bottom or side and it can break your ornament or it can just get stuck and have a lot of um, a lot of extra crystals that you may not want on there. So you just want to make sure it's nice and secure. You also want to set it in a location that you're not going to have to move very often. You don't want it to move at all if you can help it because you don't want to jostle um, the growing process. So you're going to take a few pieces of tape just to kind of secure your stick or um, mine's my chopstick, I'm going to secure it with the tape. Um, you can secure it with painter's tape. We have just little masking scotch tape. We have scotch tape here, so I'm just using scotch tape. 
just to make sure it doesn't move a lot. Then you're going to set it aside and you're going to wait for, you can wait overnight, I think ours grew in about six or seven hours. Until you end up with some really cool crystal designs. And this is kind of what they turn into. So there's our swirly crystal there. The crystal swirl ornament. And then we even have a Christmas tree. So it's a little Christmas tree with crystals in it. And we've even made snowflake ornaments. So you can get as elaborate or as um, simple as you want. It's all up to you. Thank you so much for joining us today in making Borax Christmas ornaments. We hope to see you soon at the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History.